tender ray beef, no other beef so fresh can be so tender, presents Hearts in Harmony transcribed. K is for Kroger, C is for Cut, B is for Beef. KCB means Kroger Cut Beef, and Kroger Cut Beef means more meat for your money. Remember that fact, ladies. Remember that Kroger Cut Beef gives you more meat, less waste, and for this reason. Before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess bone, excess waste, and stringy ends. Yes, that's before the meat is weighed and priced. And listen, you get the top U.S. government grades of beef. Yes, it's tender, juicy, rich red, and marbled with just the right amount of flavory fat. So you get better value in top-grade beef. Let's take a Kroger Cut Chuck Roast as an example. Before the roast is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess waste and stringy meat. You're bound to get a better value because you get more solid meat, only a minimum of bone. No matter what you prefer, steak or roast, you receive more meat, less waste in Kroger cut beef. But make that discovery for yourself. Visit your neighborhood Kroger store and make it a rule to buy Kroger cut beef. It gives you more meat for your money. And now, hearts in harmony. Little Julie Martin was playing with her dolls under the umbrella tree in the Gibbs front yard when it was time to call her in for lunch. But when she was called, there was no answer. And when Penny Gibbs, Johnny Keith, and Freddie Lang went looking for her, there was no Julie. It's an hour later now, and Freddie has just phoned from down the street. Penny says, Oh, golly, Freddie, if you searched the whole neighborhood and haven't found anyone who's seen her, what's happened? You're... Yeah. Well, keep looking. Will you go all the way to town if you have to? Yes, but call me again in a little while, will you? All right, Freddie. Oh, thanks so much. Bye. Oh, golly, I can't see no. Hello? Johnny, this is Penny. Any word about Julie? Oh, I've called everyone in the neighborhood. No one's seen her. Well, uh, where do you think she's gone? I don't know, Penny. You know, it's getting serious now. I called the police just before you phoned. Good. Maybe we should have done that right away. Well, we haven't lost much time, Penny. Sergeant Brandon said he'd be at the house right away, so I... I guess I'll stop using the phone over here and come over and join you. All right, I'll meet you in the yard. Maybe I'll see her from out there. Somehow or other, I have a hunch she's not very far away, Johnny. Penny, if she weren't far away, we'd have found her. Uh, oh, by the way, have you heard from Freddy yet? Yes, he just phoned from the drugstore on Whiting Street. Mm -hmm. No one saw her down there either. Well, uh, did he drive over to the highway? There's a big lot over there. She might have gone over there to play. Oh, he said he'd been all over the neighborhood. Anyway, why would Julie leave the yard? She hadn't done it before. When she went out front to play under the umbrella tree, she promised she wouldn't leave the premises, remember? Yeah, I heard her say it. Well, I'll be right over. Meet me in the front yard, huh? Yeah, I will. Right away, Johnny. Oh. Julie! Julie? Julie? No use of calling, Penny. She's not around here. Oh, Johnny, what are we going to do about this? Well, we've done all we can, short of walking the streets, swinging every doorbell in town. The police will do that for us. Sergeant Brandon said he'd send a squad of men out looking for her right away. You don't think she walked off with somebody, do you? Oh, well, someone would have noticed if she had, Penny. Mrs. Ross says she was in the front room an hour ago and didn't see Julie at all. Well, that means she wasn't in the front yard very long. Maybe not at all. Well, she had to be, Penny. But look, there are her dolls still under the umbrella tree, just where she said she was going to play. You know something? Hmm? It's those dolls that worry me. Julie carries her dolls with her wherever she goes, even when she's in a hurry. I think I'll go out and bring the dolls in the house. They look so pitiful lying out there in the grass. Oh, no, 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 no. You better leave them where they are, Penny. The police might be interested in seeing them. All right. <sighs> Penny, this may not be as serious as we think. It may not be, but you're beginning to think it is, aren't you? Yeah, frankly, I am. But we, we can both be wrong. Oh, we could also both be right. No, Penny, she hasn't been missing long when... 
We discovered that she was gone. It couldn't have been more than five minutes. That's something in our favor. Oh, it's been over an hour now. Almost an hour and a half. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh here come the police. Now we'll get some action and fast. Oh, Johnny, that siren gives me the shivers. Makes me realize more than ever that Julie might be in awful trouble. Oh, Penny, if someone's walked off with her, we'll find her before she meets with any harm. Don't worry. Hello, Sergeant. Hello, Tony. Has that little girl shown up yet? No, no, she hasn't. And no one in the neighborhood has even seen her. Well, I guess we have a little problem in our hands. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. Oh, uh, Sergeant, this is Miss Gibbs. Miss Gibbs, Sergeant Brandon. Hello. How do you do, Miss Gibbs? Uh, is it your sister or a member of your family who's missing, Miss Gibbs? Oh, no, no, Sergeant. She's the daughter of a friend of mine that I'm taking care of for the time being. I see. And she just ran off, hmm? No, I don't think so. She's always been good about staying in the yard. Now, Miss Gibbs tells me the child was a little upset this morning. Oh? About what, Miss Gibbs? Well, her, her mother's been gone for some time, Sergeant. We haven't heard a word about when she's coming back. You mean the mother deserted this child? Well, it might appear that way, but... And the little girl misses her mother, does she? Yes, very much. Well, she she seemed quite happy here, Sergeant. She was until this morning when she was asking some questions that I couldn't answer. And then she said that I didn't want her around. And that's the last you saw of her? No, no, we made up right away. In a few minutes, she was playing again with her dolls. Yeah, there are the dolls right out there under the umbrella tree, Sergeant. Oh, yes. Well, supposing we go out and have a look at them. Hmm? All right. Now, what was the last thing she said to you before she left, Miss Gibbs? I don't know exactly. She was talking to her dolls when she came out here into the front yard. Were you in the house at the time? No, no, Johnny and I were out in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Who first noticed that she was gone? Freddie Lang. Freddie Lang? Oh, you remember him, don't you, Sergeant? I certainly do. I understand he's turned out to be a good boy. (laughs) Yes. He was married a couple of weeks ago. Yes, yes, I remember seeing it in the paper. He married the daughter of, um... That fellow Williams who owns a farm out on the highway. Mm-hmm. Well, the dolls here don't look as if they've been dropped. I'd say they were set down against the tree very carefully. Yes, Julie was always very gentle with her dolls. Mm-hmm. No sign of a struggle here either. Grass isn't torn up. So, uh, what are you thinking, Sergeant? Nothing yet, Johnny. Just trying to find out what to think. Tell me, how old is the girl? Almost six. Pretty child? Oh, very beautiful little girl. Mm-hmm. Who else was at home at the time she disappeared? Oh, my stepfather, Nora, and Freddie Lang. And she disappeared about how long ago? It's been exactly an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Well, if she wandered off by herself, she isn't very far away. And if someone carried her off, they haven't gotten very far with her. I have several men out looking for her now. I'd like to call headquarters. Perhaps there's a report. Do you mind if I use your phone? Oh, no, it's in the front hall just inside the door. Thank you. I'll be right back. Oh, Johnny, now I'm really frightened. Oh, Penny, being frightened won't help. And Sergeant Brandon doesn't seem excited. Chances I'm are... almost sure something's happened to her, Johnny. I'm almost sure. Oh, she's just wandered down the street, Penny. Yeah, but if she has, Freddie would have found her by now. Someone would have seen her. It was a strange look on Sergeant Brandon's face when he looked at those little dolls. Look as though he feared something, too. Now, Penny, that's just your imagination. Uh, Miss Gibbs. Oh, yes? Johnny, uh, oh. would you mind coming into the house for a minute? Yeah, oh, sure, thanks, Is there Sergeant. any word of her at headquarters, Sergeant Brandon? No, not a word, Miss Gibbs. Two men had reported in but hadn't seen a sign of her. Tell me, how thorough a search have you made of the immediate neighborhood? Oh, we phoned all the neighbors. Freddie's been driving down one street after another. Mm-hmm. Why do you ask? Well, Miss Gibbs, when a little girl disappears as suddenly and as completely as... This child. It usually means one of two things. Yes. Uh, Johnny, uh, you want to close the door, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, go on. Miss Gir- uh, Miss Gibbs, this girl is almost six, you say. Now, what did she look like? Oh, she's small, has long black hair and curls, brown eyes, rather light complexion. Although she's sunburned right now. Mm-hmm. And what was she wearing? A plain yellow dress, yellow socks, I think, and black play shoes. I see. Miss Gibbs, as I said before, when a little girl disappears this suddenly and this completely, it, it means one of two things. Uh, someone's taken her away, Sergeant. Either that, Johnny, or she isn't missing at all. What? What do you mean, she isn't missing at all? Have you searched the house? Well, that's the one place we didn't look. Well, she couldn't be in the house, Sergeant Brandon. No one saw her come in. Well, just the same. I think we ought to have a look around. 
May I search? Oh, yes, of course you may. Well, I'll help you by starting in the basement, Sergeant. I don't know what makes you think she's in the house, but it certainly won't hurt to look. No, you're right, Johnny. It won't hurt to look. Uh, is this a closet door, Miss Gibbs? Oh, yes. Yes, this is the coat closet. I don't want you to think I'm foolish, Miss Gibbs, but... Uh Uh-huh. she's not in here. Well, uh, where's another closet? Oh, um, there's one um, over here, under the steps. Oh, yes, I see it. This would be a likely place. It's big and it's dark. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a light switch right oh, over thanks. There. Just the same. I have a flashlight. You see, Miss Gibbs, it's just that... No, not in here either. Oh, golly. Well, where's another closet? Oh, there's one down here in the pantry, but... I don't think she could get in it. It's full of brooms and mops and cleaning materials. You'd be surprised. Well, just a minute now. Um, here, sometimes it sticks, but this is it. Well, let's see what we find in here. <laughs> Julie! There she is. Oh, Julie, darling. Oh, Aunt Penny. Don't be mad at me, please. Well, you come on out, little girl. Nobody's going to be mad at you. Come on, darling. Come here, Julie. Don't scold me, Aunt Penny. I didn't mean to, honest. I didn't mean to. Darling, we've been looking all over for you. (laughs) Didn't you hear us calling you? Yes. I heard you. I heard you calling. Well, then why didn't you answer us, Julie? Why, darling? Because. Because. Because there's no answer, Julie. Come on, tell me why. Come on, why are we hiding in the closet? Weren't you hungry? Yes. Didn't you want your dolls? Yes. Well, didn't you know that Miss Gibbs and the others were worried about you? Yes. Well, then why are we hiding in the dark closet all this time, darling? Because I want my mommy. I want my mommy. So poor Julie Martin is so heartbroken for her mother, she hid in a closet. What will Penny do to spare this child any further unhappiness? How will she find Julie's mother? Be sure to listen to the next dramatic episode of Hearts in Harmony. KCB. KCB. KCB means Kroger Cut Beef. And Kroger Cut Beef means more meat for your money. Right. Kroger Cut Beef gives you more meat, less waste. Because before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess bone, excess waste, and stringy ends. Take a Kroger Cut round steak or roast, for example. The Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess waste and stringy meat before the steak or roast is weighed and priced. You get a minimum of bone. And you get top U.S. government grades of beef. Beef that's tender, juicy, rich red, and marbled with just the right amount of flavory fat. But visit your neighborhood Kroger store and see for yourself. And remember, whether you buy a steak or a roast, Kroger cut beef gives you more meat for your money. Ladies, make plans right this instant to visit your neighborhood Kroger store, the only place you can buy Kroger cut beef. Surprise and delight your family with a delicious and juicy steak or roast. And remember, in Kroger cut beef, you get more meat for your money. Because the Kroger method of cutting beef gives you more meat, less waste. Make it a rule to get Kroger cut beef at your neighborhood Kroger store. Be sure to join us again Monday. Same time, same station for another thrilling transcribed chapter of Hearts in Harmony.